Okay, welcome back to Let's Play Observer. We're back after some serious glitching in the last video. I'm gonna try going a different way this time. So I haven't gone down this hallway. I don't know what's gonna happen over here. I guess nothing. It doesn't seem like there's anything down here. Other than a door we can't do anything with. Doesn't even let me try to open this door. I open this locker. Nope. Ah, oh, what's this? What did I just do? I just pulled something. I don't know what it accomplished. If anything. I don't seem to be able to pull it again. Okay, let's go back to where we were the last time we got stuck. About the glitchiness of this segment of the game. What is this? Did I kill the television? follow this trail. Ah, uh, this goes back to the door I couldn't open a minute ago. Yep, creepy. It's so dark. Alright. Alright, well we're getting somewhere. Another one of those download terminals. This game is much more creepy and unsettling than I expected it to be. Like, woo! Cyber horror punk. Horror punk. Is that a term? There's now horses on my television I've been carrying around with me. But at least it's alive again. Oh, this is the apartment where my uh, son may or may not have died if that was his body. Hey there. 
Looks like we got all of it. So, what is all of this stuff, exactly? It's probably best if you don't know. Exactly. It's not anything nasty, is it? Like, a virus or some top-secret weapon type shit? <laughs> no. Nothing like that. What then? I mean, what could possibly be worth the risk? The future. Hmm. We're in a field of plants made out of some sort of networking cable, maybe? drone coming after me and I can't move. I guess that's a sign that I should avoid the drones. How long is this lady's mind hack gonna last? This is like, what, the fourth video of it? trying to make it to the big spotlight over there. I'll just run while everybody's going that way. Oh, I got turned around. a pattern or something because I'm not going to do that. Apparently these guys can run faster than I can. that I can fit through, guys. Oh, damn it, now that one's turning around. Oh, for fuck's sake. If you can hide in the tall stuff, if you're crouched before they see you. Yes, you can. That changes the equation. it's hard to see where they are. You 
just pass right over. here. They're swarming. I can't really see too well because there's shit in my face. All right. Thank God that part's over. I don't think I can do this anymore. I think they're on to me. You're being paranoid. No one's on to you. You don't get it. Every time I go in there, it's like they're all watching. Yesterday, this executive creep gave me this look like I, I could just tell he knew. If they knew, we'd all be dead by now. Maybe they're just messing with our heads. And what purpose would that serve? I don't know. To get their fucking sadistic load off? That's not how they operate. Trust me. I was with the corporation long enough. Oh, God. We're back in the office again. Oh. Hello. Oh, the floor is missing. What in the world? That's an interesting visual effect. Some messed up Tron shit here. Some, uh. Amir, is that you? What was that movie, The Lawnmower Man?
what is going on here? It's a fucking trip, man. Oh, there's a dead bird, and she was into birds. There's some more. Oh, a bunch more. They're falling out of the sky. I wish you'd tell me what that means. Oh, hey. It didn't have to be this way. It's like cyberpunk Silent Hill. Well, that's obviously a code. Did that keypad in the tattoo chair? Okay, can I get past you? And that's how she died. She got to the tattoo thing, running from the beast. Caught her as she made it to the tattoo chair. 3615. She's in a hurry to accomplish something. Typing in that code. Control. I am not control at all. What are you talking about? Yes. Synchrony injected. Strain level decreased. Thirty six one five, you said. I bet the character remembers it for us. We probably don't have to memorize it ourselves. Still wondering what the point of this was. Is it just something to mess with? Three six one five, was it? Let's give it a shot. Oh, that's where I still have. I have my vision again now. Another card. Cause of death classified as always. I can't get to the other side of the counter. Oh. What in the world? Chilled the counter. Oh, okay. Down. 
some sort of underground secret lab. Press wait a second. A surgical oh. chop shop. Just what we need. This place was in her memory. A few videos back. Yet another trading card. Oh, we got a some sort of a hook. We got a hook control puzzle. Registered decrypting station, risk of cybercrime application. This place is a fucking slaughterhouse. Automated saw structural irregularities. Irregularities detected. Guy waiting for you in 102. 102 I prosthetic. Can I? I can't actually take it with me though. Sturdy enough. Okay, so we've got a winch, we got some controls. Okay, so now the power's on, but a monster's outside the door. Got a winch.
I supposed to winch the door back over? That seems like a bad idea. I've seen these before. This will help me decrypt the figurine. Okay. Decrypting July 6th, statue 2083. that we found in our Finally son's place. Finally managed to set up a workspace. It's not ideal, but it'll have to do. Fortunately, the first trial proved unsuccessful, to say the least. You'd think after five years of working on this project, my know-how would be sufficient. But without my data, this looks to be a long and bumpy road. July 25th, 2083. I made some unlikely allies. They might be able to assist me in my research, help me retrieve my data from Chiron. Wasn't planning on involving others. Makes the whole endeavor even riskier than it already was. But I need to be realistic about this. An undertaking of this magnitude, I need all the help I can get. <sighs> September 2nd, 2083. Finally got some of my data back. For all the good it did. Subjects are proving unstable. Limited faculties, mental disorders, they just seem broken. Incomplete. Uh, the latest one. Well, he, uh, he just started screaming and he never stopped. I had no choice but to terminate. I can still hear him. So it kind of sounds like Adam is the one that developed these weird creatures that are chasing and killing people. September 16th, 2083. I haven't been getting much sleep. Drugs do half a decent job of keeping me awake, but the physical limitations are slowing me down. <clears throat> As they tend to do, I feel like the answer is staring me right in the face, and I'm missing it. Maybe I'm not as smart as I'd like to think. Maybe I'm just destined to fuck up, to fail everyone. Seems to run in the family. Harsh. Project. Oh, fuck. Shit. I, uh... I, uh... uh I, I don't... I don't remember what day it is. The dreams are getting worse. No doubt a side effect of the stimulants. I just need to ask Jack to adjust the dosage. Um, what's worse is... I think my subconscious is starting to seep into my waking hours. The other day I could swear I heard whispering coming from the black box. Since that's clearly impossible, I have to attribute the symptoms to sleep deprivation. I uh, usually don't put much stock in dreams, but this one was so vivid. I turned to my last day at Chiron. I was back in the boardroom. The executive giving me the same condescending look. Telling me to grow up. To move on. Only this time, his face was different. It was a sneering mask of contempt and disapproval. It was the face of my father. Well,
Oh, I can't take it back again. Oh, we've decrypted our son's secret diary that we found stashed in his room. I don't know what to grab with the winch, though, but we'll come back in the next video and figure out what to grab with the winch. I'm scared to try to open that door again, but maybe that's it. Maybe we winched the door open. Wait. Is this panel... Well, we'll keep looking for winchable objects in the next video.